Hi there, what's in a name? What is in a name? I know there are meanings, you know, just like any other word has a meaning and your name is no different and you may or may not like it. Most people, I don't know, most people, sad to say, don't like their name for whatever reason. They always want a different name. We're never happy. In fact, my one of my children told me when she got old enough to express her opinions and think for herself and all of this would, you know, actually told me, you know, why don't we just get to pick our own name? You know, wait until people are old enough and then they get to choose. Hey, that's, you know, that's an interesting point. No telling what we would come up with if that were the case. But until then, what do we say? Hey, you, uh, baby, baby, <laughs> I'm talking to you, whatever. But meanwhile, my name is Phyllis Moore, philosophically speaking, and my dad actually named me. It's interesting because I have, or had, he passed, an uncle, Philip. So I wasn't named after him. My dad just liked the name Phyllis. It wasn't a very popular name as I was growing up, but I guess I looked then and now white knuckling it through and going, okay, my dad liked the name. So he named me that. So that's a good thing. It's not like, oh, why did he name me this? Did he hate me? You know, that was not the case. When I was coming along, and this may be well before your time, but Phyllis Diller was a well-known comedian, actress, you know, just very, very funny. She dressed kind of zany. She wasn't the most attractive person. So when I got teased and called Phyllis Diller a lot, it was almost like an insult. And one day though, when I got to be probably about middle school and somebody, you know, said, ah, Phyllis Diller. And I said, hey, she's got a lot of money. You know, not a bad deal. Um, but we grow up with attachments to things people say, to things people, you know, I guess put on us. Uh, and there's a lot of names now that, you know, I think about, oh gosh, like Lazy Susan. You know, that's a thing that you would have on your table, um, generally, and you'd put all the food or the bowls on it, and then you could spin that around so everybody could reach for it and, you know, have access to whatever the, uh, the dish, the side dish was whatever. But if your name was Susan, would you want to be called Lazy Susan? You know, um, Apple Brown Betty, you know, that's a name of a, of a, a dessert, you know, but poor Betty probably like, you know, what did I do? And of course the all important now, the prevailing Karen. And I have friends named Karen and they are nothing like what that word means you know, today, but it's like, oh my gosh, you know, we've attached all kinds of meanings. Hey, Bubba, you know, and there are people that are named Bubba. They might not like to have the meaning attached to it that, hey, you're a big doofus, <laughs> you know, whatever. So it's just kind of interesting. Hopefully you like your name or, you know, even if you don't think you like it, at the very least, that is what you respond to. You know, I'm, I'm now, because we have sibling kittens, and we're trying to get them to learn their names. And so you say it over and over and over again, and sometimes you don't, you know? Well, actually, sometimes I call them the wrong name uh, because they look very <laughs> much alike. But trying to get them to learn their names is tricky. And I, I guess I, I think about it, it's like, you know, what do you respond to? And that goes further than just your proper name. Do you respond if people tell you you're pretty? or you're attractive, or you're kind, or you're patient, or they give you something that has the connotation of a compliment. Do you respond to that, or do you go, oh no, I'm not, and it's not entirely because you're, you're modest, is because you're not believing it. Sometimes we only believe the negatives that, that people say. And that's gonna be something, I guess I challenge you and encourage you to think about. What do you respond to? What gifts and talents and characteristics and things do you have that are good, that are positive? And instead of focusing on all the things that we have that we think are, no, I'm not good enough. No, no. Get the names to yourself that are your good qualities because you have them. And it goes into also, I want to, I guess, just say, you know, God, you know, that is 
the one who created the heavens and the earth. He made you, he made me, he made us in his image to be the people that we are. Now, sometimes we fall short because we're not perfect, but sometimes, you know, when we talk about God or Jesus, those are names that we hold holy and with reverence and with respect, but sometimes people use them as curse words, and sometimes people say negative and bad things and, and attach a different meaning, and I, I don't know. I'm here to say, you know, I don't think that's that's good. I don't think it is. And and what did, you know, what did Jesus do to deserve for his name to be a curse word when he came to save us? He came to love us. He came to model for us the behavior of kindness and compassion and forgiveness. And I guess I just want us to leave you with one thought, which is just as I said that about the other names that people might attach a meaning to, if you were in that position where you had your name and then people started using it as a curse word or attaching a different meaning than was intended by like Jesus, his father gave him that name. My father gave me my name. And if people started using it in a different way than it was intended, how would you feel? Think about that, and maybe that will not only help you to turn the, the script, flip the script, if you will, on how we appreciate ourselves, the name we were given, the qualities that we try to have, and also how we use the names of other people, including, but not limited to, God and Jesus. So just think about that. Something to consider today, um, and to have the glass half full, the name you know, being better than it is, um, or maybe than we give it credit for. Do take care of yourself today. Be blessed. Keep coming back. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Bye.